up? Hello, who's this? It's crazy, Cartier. Cartier, it's time for Ask Ye. What's your question for Ye? Um, I got this girl that I was dating for a little bit. And she's, like, bisexual. Mm-hmm. So, like, all right, she like girls, but um, basically I turned her back straight. She ended up breaking up with me, so. What's your question, sir? I was just wondering, like, do you think that she may be just be straight gay or... Listen, I think oh, it. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I think it doesn't matter because she broke up with you, right? You're wacky. Yeah. She doesn't want you no more. Emmy, stop! Like, can I do my ask ye? He hung up. No, it's Kira. Who is this? Kira, good morning. Kira, it's time for ask ye. What's your question? I have a problem. My boyfriend is not um, performing oral sex on me. Is oh, often the nerve. Like. Cause it's hairy and stink. That's why. Shut up. <laughs> Actually, it isn't. It is? Um, I don't know if that has to do anything with him being Jamaican. Oh, okay. He's running that Jamaican thing. Oh, we don't do that. It's taboo. Yeah, but it's an issue. And actually, if I perform on him, he doesn't let me do it for an extended period. Maybe perhaps the way that he was raised, he was taught this is not what you're supposed to do. (laughs) Uh, And a lot of Jamaican men run that, but eventually I think they they will do it. How long have you guys been together? Um, Six months. Okay, so it's been six months, and he's never done it before in his life, right? He's done it before. Performed it on me. He just doesn't do it that often. Okay, and you've asked him to do it? Yes. Okay, because, you know, sometimes as women, we don't speak up and say what we need and what we want. So you're being very expressive and letting him know, look, it's important to me. Yes, I have. I just want to make sure that you're speaking up and telling him what it is that you need and that it's affecting your relationship. But, you know, it's important when you come up with issues like that. You don't know what his reasons are. Maybe you want to talk to him and find out what it is that he doesn't like. Maybe you do have a little bit of a, a stench. I don't know. I'm just saying. Maybe <laughs> no, it's that's some- not the issue. Maybe it's something that he's not comfortable with for whatever reason. Too much but curry you- coming out up. your pores. But you need to find out from him what that reason is, you know. You got to really communicate. Be like, listen, this is something that I really enjoy and I really like. So I know that, you know, we care about each other and I know you want to please me just like I want to please you so let's figure it out together and you know be open and honest nothing you say is gonna offend me just like nothing i say should offend you let's just have an open and honest conversation about it i wouldn't be nagging about it though you just want to make sure that he can express how he feels you express how you feel and figure it out sounds good okay good luck if anything put some weed down there All right. some curry chicken i really can't believe jamaican men keep girlfriends and they don't do that they do do that. Sometimes they say they don't, but they all do. And I don't understand how you can eat a goat, but won't eat poom poom. Stop it. What is wrong with you? All Jamaicans don't eat goat, you uh, Listen, and for men in general, there's no reason you shouldn't be doing that. That's, I agree. 800-585-1051. Hello, who's this? Hello, hi, this is Olo. What's your question for ye? A question I'm asking about relationships. I'm, I'm really having trouble finding the right guy. I live here in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, out of the group of my girlfriends, I'm the one that's just still the single one. And they kind of see me as the bitter one because I don't have a guy. But it's really hard. And I just want to know, like, what does it take to really, like, find the right guy? You got to lose weight. Shut bro. up, Charlamagne. <laughs> well, I'm not fat, so that's, that can be checked off. No, first and foremost, I just want to say, don't think that you have to find a boyfriend just because your friends have boyfriends. Don't worry about what other people think because I don't want you making a bad decision trying to rush into something just to have a boyfriend. Yeah, but it's just so hard because they're all seem just happy and, you know, I'm doing good in my life. I'm doing good for myself, but it just seems that I just end up being the lonely one. So it's just kind of hard not to look at myself and think that there's something wrong. There's definitely nothing wrong with you. I, a lot of my friends, you know, have been single for a long period of time and then all of a sudden they meet somebody. Next thing you know, they're married and they have a kid. It's just yeah. sometimes finding the right person at the right time. So I don't want you to think that, okay, I have to get a boyfriend because then you might end up making a rash decision and dating somebody just for the sake of dating them. You got to yeah. do things in your own time and when you're ready when you find the right person that's more important than anything so instead of putting that pressure on yourself just to be in a relationship just to be in one don't do that just relax I think it's important for you to go out and make friends and do things that you enjoy as you know finding somebody to date is is kind of like looking for a job you have to put yourself out there (laughs) I mean, I try to, and just work is, like, taking up so much of my life, so I really haven't been able to go out and expose myself to actually meet people. 
So I guess that's just one aspect that I need to work on. Yeah, I mean, it is a matter of you getting out there and making an effort. So, you know, sometimes you have to look yeah. at yourself. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just not putting yourself in the situation to meet somebody. And let your friends know if they're really your friends and they're in relationships and they have men that they're with, maybe they could hook you up on some dates. But you have to yeah. let people know that you're willing and open to it because sometimes people don't know. Yeah. You know, right, let them know. Right. Be like, listen, why don't you hook me up? Tell, you know, ask your boyfriend to hook me up with somebody. Whatever. Go on dates like that. And nothing wrong with trying online dating either. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That might be another avenue for you That's to look at. That's a lot of that. Yeah. Being that you're very busy and you work all the time, it might be better for you to actually set up some dates online. That way you get to see what a person looks like. Check out their profile. No strings attached. And see how you feel. It's the same thing as if you were to meet somebody in a club. You don't really know anything about them except what they look like and what they tell you. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, but go out there and make some effort if that's something that you want to do. Just don't get desperate. Yeah, you're right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No Good problem. Night. All right, well, thank you, Yee, for that great advice. I'm sure the people are grateful. And you can always email our breakfast club, am at gmail.